Welcome to Flyride's Electric Bike Academy. This one's for the real e-bike nerds out there, like me. Today we're gonna learn how a mid-drive motor works and why a mid-drive motor works so well. We specialize in Bosch, Bros, Shimano, and Yamaha motors. All of these motors are brushless DC motors, meaning they get powered directly from a battery source. So how they work is by using data from three different sensors. There's the torque sensor, a cadence sensor, and a speed sensor. Data is calculated up to a thousand times per second to give you a smooth output through the steel drive shaft. Some mid-drive motors are constructed with internal gearing and others are constructed with a belt-driven system. Belt-driven systems tend to give you a smoother power output and a quieter ride. Whereas geared systems feel a little more powerful out the gate from your first pedal stroke. The torque sensor on modern mid-drive systems are very responsive, meaning the motor can tell how much power you need based on how much power you're putting into it. Put another way, the torque sensor identifies how much power you're putting into it and gives you more torque as a result. So if you feel like you're not getting all the power out of the motor, it's likely that you're in too low of a gear and you're not putting enough torque into the system. This is where the cadence sensor comes in. The cadence sensor identifies how fast you're pedaling based off of RPMs or rotations per minute. Ideally, mid-drive motors want you to be pedaling between 50 and 80 RPMs. So if you're pedaling above 90 RPMs in a very low gear, the mid-drive motor is not gonna give you all that power it can give you. The mid-drive motors we carry give you support at a wide range of cadences. For instance, Yamaha motors give you power up to 110 RPMs. This wide range of cadences is helpful for steep grades, but you always want to find your way back to around 50 to 80 rotations per minute. This is where the cadence and torque sensor together work optimally. Ultimately, this is what makes the mid-drive motor system superior to anything else, as it combines both the torque sensor and the cadence sensor to offer smooth delivery of power. A lot of people get hung up on whether their mid-drive motor is a cadence-based system or a torque sensor-based system, but ultimately, in all the mid-drive motors we carry, it's both of these sensors that work together that make these systems superior to hub motors and other mid-drive motors out on the market. Another reason why mid-drive motors work so well is because of their reliability. There are a couple reasons why they are more reliable than hub motors. Because they are in a fixed location and only the internal parts are moving, this prevents a lot less stress and wear and tear compared to that hub motor that is spinning on the wheel. Also because of its location, a lot of air is gonna pass around the motor, keeping it cool. Electrical components and heat do not mix well. You want a mid-drive motor that dissipates heat really well. And some of the more modern mid-drive motors we carry have heat sinks, allowing the motor to stay cool while riding. Another reason what makes these mid-drive motors so reliable is that their internals are completely sealed from the environment. This means rain and dust just can't get in. Plus, any connection ports lock into each other and there's no need to splice or solder any connections to the motor. Splicing and soldering wires, if not done correctly, can cause weak connections. Having the wiring harness and connections lock into the motor from the manufacturer is going to prevent a lot of these connection issues that we see on hub motors. The reason why we love mid-drive motors is that it gives you that true to cycling feel because they use pedal assistance instead of a throttle that you see a lot on these hub drive bikes. Throttles not only take away the cycling feel, but can lower the life of that motor because they tend to overheat and cause a lot more stress than a mid-drive motor could ever. If you like these Electric Bike Academy videos, leave us a comment and let us know what you'd like us to dive into next. I'm Hector with Flyrides, and until next time, enjoy the ride.